Well, we have the Talking Heads right here. In 1979, when the biggest bands came to San Diego, Jefferson Starship, uh, Journey, they called T.K. Arnold first. He was one of the head honchos at Kicks, San Diego's only rock and roll magazine. I was largely driven by ego. I liked being 21 years old and walking into a nightclub in Pacific Beach and having the DJ stop the music and say, T.K. Arnold of Kicks Magazine just walked in the door. <laughs> I love that stuff. Kicks was started by San Diego State students Thomas Arnold and Albert Carrasco. News 8's Doug McAllister featured the magazine in 79. San Diego is no longer a shadow of Los Angeles. It's becoming a major music market uh, on its own. I keep thinking Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> From Gary Puckett to Steppenwolf, a young TK met them all and even spent a day at the zoo with the Ramones. I heard you took them out to dinner. Yes, uh, of course, I took them to Jack in the Box. We had uh, tacos. Decades later, the last surviving Ramon told him, Yeah, you introduced us to Mexican food. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, wait, you had tacos at Jack in the Box. He goes, that was the very first time any of us had had Mexican food. His kicks will feature interviews. Being in the music biz meant writing reviews, like the one on Billy Joel's new release. I hated the album. It, it wasn't Piano Man. It was, love you just the way you are. A few days later, TK took a call from Billy's wife. How dare you say that about my husband? He put his heart and soul into this album. Just like TK put his heart and soul into his magazine that unfortunately was forced to face its own music and fold in less than two years. Tell people what you do for a living now. I'm doing the same thing I did 41 years ago. I, I run a monthly magazine. Media Play News is one of five Hollywood Insider magazines. Is a trade publication as cool as a rock and roll magazine? No, not at all. <laughs> but it, I'm still having a lot of fun. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, News 8.